A young father is dead tonight after a drive-by shooting in Opelika. The shooting also sent a woman to the hospital. CBS 4's Maggie Newland is live outside of Rider Trauma with the story on this. Maggie, what happened? Well, Cynthia, police are still trying to piece all that together. Now, the woman who was shot is stable here at Rider Trauma. She is expected to survive, according to police. But the man who was shot did not, and now his family is looking for answers. Investigators searched for evidence after a double shooting in Opelika overnight. You're not even safe in your own house. Come on, man. You ain't safe nowhere. Lydia Corker's brother, Centrell, was killed when police say someone drove up and fired from a car. He died. A woman was rushed to the hospital. But it's sad that after her, she's in the hospital too. Then he's dead. And got two, my two nephews, beautiful kids. Lydia says her brother was a good dad, and neighbors say he was always talking about his children. He was a good person. I mean, he talked a lot of stuff, but everybody knew whatever he was saying, he didn't mean it. And he always talked about him doing better in life, far as um, playing football and working, things like that. We will talk on the phone. Always tell me I love you, sis. Oh, he gonna come through, and all I do is wait and wait and wait till my brother come through. And I never think this will happen. And, and the thing is, it's not like I could call my brother, and tell him to come next week. Oh, he ain't coming back at all. Now, family and friends are left to mourn and hope the killer is caught. So, if anybody know anything, I mean, you can just come forward. Please. Anybody that know anything, like, I don't care. You ain't, you, I'm nominous call. Ain't nobody got to know. Tell what happened. If you know something, you know the killer, like, tell what happened, man. Because it's sad that how a lot of young men out here is dying. If you have any information on this crime, call Miami Dade Crime Stoppers at 305 471 TIPS. We're live at Ryder Trauma Center, Maggie Newland, CBS 4 News. Thanks for that, Maggie. Deputy